Private jets are becoming the preferred way of traveling in the air for the ones who can afford it. It's one of the biggest indicators of a luxury lifestyle with owning your own plane being amongst the most coveted ways to jet set. Owning, as opposed to chartering, a business jet is associated with a host of benefits including dedicated usage, added convenience, and an unlimited number of flying hours. So there are a number of luxurious private jets available. One of them being the Gulfstream G700 without any doubt. Here is the real cost of owning a Gulfstream G700. Before we get onto that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It helps us out a lot with the YouTube algorithm to push our videos to all of you. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. It's no secret that two of the aviation's biggest names have been battling it out for the primacy in the skies. In 2018, the Bombardier Global 7500 dethroned the Gulfstream G650 to become the biggest business jet in the world. The 7500 enjoyed a healthy reign, breaking records and impressing pilots and jet setters alike. It even topped our best aircraft of the year list. But Gulfstream had no plans to bow to defeat. The US plane maker unveiled its widely expected G700 long-range jet in a challenge to flagship Global 7500 aircraft in 2019. With this business jet, Gulfstream is targeting to become the world's largest business jet manufacturer. The soon-to-be behemoth known as the G700 was unveiled at the National Business Aviation Association's annual corporate aircraft show in Las Vegas. The Gulfstream G700 is powered by Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines. These two engines put out over 18,000 pounds of thrust each, giving the aircraft plenty of power. The Pearls are improved derivatives of the engines used on the G650 series and are cleaner and more efficient. They provide 8% more thrust while consuming 3.5% less fuel and meet or exceed international standards for noise and nitrous oxide emissions. The all-new winglets help reduce drag while in the air. With a takeoff distance of just over 6,000 feet, the Gulfstream G700 can utilize many different airports that its competitors simply are unable to. The gargantuan jet will match the industry-leading maximum speed of Mach 0.925, set by its predecessor, the G650, and can fly 7,500 nautical miles at Mach 0.85, and while that's slightly less than the Bombardier 7,700 nautical miles, 200 miles is not a huge difference when it comes to flying home and reach. The jet will be pressurized to ensure the lowest cabin altitude in the industry, less than 4,000 feet at most cruising altitudes. Designed with the award-winning Symmetry flight deck from Honeywell, G700 features advanced touchscreen controllers to control flight management, communication, weather forecast, and other systems. Make sure to watch till the end as we will dive into the actual costs of owning the largest business jet right now. It's not the specs where the G700 shines the most, it's the cabin that makes it grandeur. The Gulfstream G700 promises more space in every dimension. The G700 has the tallest, widest, longest cabin in our industry, said Gulfstream President Mark Burns. Having a bedroom with its own ensuite on any private jet is the ultimate luxury, but more so in the G700. At 57 feet long and 8 feet wide, the cabin is spacious, but it's the small, hidden details throughout that set it apart from every other business jet there is. On paper, the extra 10 feet of interior space between Gulfstream's new G700 and its next largest model, the G650, may not seem that significant. But it was clear the designers had obsessed about every inch. In terms of cabin space and configuration, the G700 can accommodate a master bedroom suite with a spa shower, which is similar to the Global 7500 and can be divided into five living areas, one more than the Global 7500. In this cabin, the G700 will seat up to 19 passengers. The Gulfstream G700 takes the very best elements from our most innovative products and unites them with cutting-edge advances to create an all-new advanced technology aircraft that redefines safety, comfort, and range at speed," said Gulfstream President Mark Burns. When you're flying long and decide to sleep in the master bedroom, it will surely give you the feeling of luxury. The bed's smartphone mattress declined with a button push on the plane's smartphone app from recumbent seating into a full sleep position, while the lights dimmed in parallel and the oval windows went from transparent to dark. Instantly, the soft-lit room, with equally soft music, became a more luxe hotel than the all-business lounge. 
Good design sensibilities were integral in making the G700 appear even bigger and more luxurious than it already was. S-curves are subtly integrated into the seats, ceiling, and even the carpeting, lending a calming sense of flow throughout what can otherwise be a cold, dry machine. Planked walnut and black ebony do plenty in adding warmth to the ambiance too, as do the 20 massive panoramic oval windows, which let in plenty of natural light. Although circadian lightning is also at hand to help you adjust to your destination seamlessly. The LED lighting overhead had a curved architecture so that the bulbs remained hidden. In the back at the six-seat zone that transforms into the dining area, the G700 has more secrets awaiting discovery. Firstly, a dining table spans the width of the cabin for in-flight dining for up to six people, and the dining table even has hidden built-in wireless charging to easily charge your smartphones. Up front, the designers dressed the galley in Casablanca marble because why not? Its clean shade black tinted cabinets and leather covered lounge gave the galley an understated elegant look without compromising openness and functionality. The galley design also sees a large fridge, plenty of storage and even a conventional oven and microwave. This could be the first business jet where owners can bring their chefs to cook meals from scratch rather than having trips catered. In the entertainment zone, there is a 43-inch screen that rises from the credenza, the lights and windows automatically darken. There are no speakers, instead, the surround sound is projected via transducers behind wall panels. The experience of watching a movie is transporting, just as one might expect from a pure luxurious business jet. As we're entering the last part of the video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Now comes the cost of owning this grand of a private jet. So firstly, any millionaire who wants to have the latest tech private jet to travel around the world has to secure about $75 million to buy it. This is the price tag Gulfstream Aerospace President Mark Burns asks for the tallest, widest cabin in our industry. So this Gulfstream plane would compete against Bombardier's $73 million Global 7500, which is sold out throughout 2021. Firstly comes the fuel cost, which is one of the major expenses of owning a private jet. Being a large plane, the Gulfstream G700 can burn through 380 gallons an hour, putting your minimum hourly fuel costs at over $850. This means that if you're flying for over 300 hours a year, you should expect to pay upwards of $256,000 in jet fuel. As advanced as it may be, the G700 can't fly itself yet. A G700 owner will need to hire an onboard crew, including a pilot, if they're not qualified to fly themselves. The cost varies depending on the crew and the number of flying hours, but they should anticipate paying anything from $200,000 per year. Now, you can't think of parking your private jet in your garage if you aren't John Travolta, whose house is a functional airport with two runways for his private planes. When you're paying this much for the privilege of owning a jet, it needs to be stored carefully when not in use. And to store a giant private jet like the G700, it will cost you around an additional $50,000 to $60,000 per year to rent a private hangar. The maintenance costs will depend on the usage of the G700. So if you're thinking of buying the Gulfstream G700, be ready to pay an estimated annual cost of around $2 to $3 million to keep your G700 in perfect condition. If you're bedazzled with the price and wondering if anyone will be interested to buy the largest business jet, then here is some news. The launch customer is Qatar Airways, which has ordered 10 aircraft for its charter service, Qatar Executive. The first North American customer, Flexjet, has placed a firm order for 16 G700s worth $1.2 billion at list price. The G700, which will enter service in 2022. Well guys, that's it for this video. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. We have many great videos coming up, so see you guys in the next video.